Uh, hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Um, I got an order the other day from Tackle Warehouse, uh, taking advantage of their 4th of July sale, and uh, grabbed a lot of baits that are new to me that I haven't really used before. So, let me show you what I got. And the reason I bought these, I've been watching a lot of the uh, Fish the Moment stuff, Johnny Schultz, and, you know, they have the, the core tackle, him and Matt Stefan have that core tackle um, hover rig, which I've done pretty good with. And they were showing how using that new Tush swim bait, you know, hover hook, whatever you want to call it, on these with these uh, hog farmer um, spunk sheds. So I thought I'd grab a few. Now I got only got the five and a half inch size. I don't have, didn't I think they have a four and a half and a three and a half. I only have the five and a half. And I know a lot of guys like to use these as um, chatterbait trailers too. So I'm always looking for new ideas for chatterbait trailers. So, <clears throat> I don't know if the five and a half size might be too big as a chatterbait trailer. Um, I suppose I could always cut it down a little bit. But I really got this mainly um, to throw on that hover rig. Or as a, or on that, you know, any type of a swim bait type hook um, for those suspended bass. Um, so let me show you the colors I got. And I got, I got the hog farmer version. I got the missile baits version. I don't know if anybody else makes a spunk shed. And I got a couple other things I'll show you here. <clears throat> so um, I'll show you the the uh, the, the uh, spunk shad first from uh, Hog Farmer. And as I said, the, these are all five and a half inch baits. You know, I like to throw the bigger baits if I can get them. And this sunfish color is really nice. Now I'm not sure if that's a five or a six pack. One, two, three, four. Looks like a five pack. As I said, they were all on sale for Fourth of July. So I wound up getting you know a bunch, bunch of different colors at a, at a good price. And that. I mean, when I try this, this might be the first color I try, because that sunfish color is really cool. That's really cool. That chartreuse uh, bottom with that, like that smoke with the blue flake top. That's really a nice looking. And I haven't really, you know, looked at these that much yet. Pretty strong plastic. You can see it's got the groove on the bottom for your hook, groove on the top. So I can see there's a few different ways you could throw these. I'll probably be scouring YouTube, seeing how guys use them. But from what I've seen so far, <clears throat> it looks a lot of like chatterbait type stuff. So I want to see what kind of action I get a chatterbait uh, on this. Even with the five and a half, I'll try. Uh, let's see. The other colors I got were electric shad in the spunk shad. Electric shad, spunk shad. There's a good old natural color, electric shad. That'll be look really cool. Got a cool tail there. And as I said, these baits are new to me. I do not have any other spunk sheds. This is my first endeavor into fishing with a spunk shed. So really cool. Uh, let's see. This is the um, electric blue chartreuse, which looks neat. Almost kind of like a sexy shad type color. Even actually that next one I show you might be more like sexy shad. That electric blue chartreuse. Oh, maybe I'll throw this one first. It's pretty nice too. I definitely like that color. That five and a half inch bait. That chartreuse going through there with that blue. That looks neat. Let's see what the, what do they call this one? Uh, sorry, I jumped the gun. Sexy shed. <laughs> Sexy shed HFSSS55. I guess that's a serial number. But you guys know I like this, uh, the sexy shad color on a fluke. I'm sure on this hog farmer spunk shad, I'll like it too. Very cool, very cool. I will definitely throw, use the hover rigs with these next time I'm out on the water. Um, this is the green pumpkin chartreuse. Great color. I actually do have another order from Tackle Warehouse coming that's got a few more of these in. It was supposed to come today and I thought I'd do both the videos at the same time but got delayed until uh, Monday so I'll be doing that video when it comes in. There's that, that, uh, that green pumpkin chartreuse. Very cool. All these colors are great. And this is the chartreuse pearl. Cannot go wrong with that, especially in dirty water. I can see the uh, smallies destroying that. Hopefully the pike will stay away from it and the pickerel. 
but very nice. Got uh, chartreuse pearl. And the last spunk shad I got, the hog farmer one, is this disco shad. Another dirty water type color. So there it is, disco shad. Very neat. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. It's always cool to get a new bait and try it out for the first time. Um, I didn't know that Missile Baits was also making a spunk shad. Um, so I grabbed a few of them. And this green pumpkin delight looks a lot like that green pumpkin chartreuse. Pretty, pretty similar. Both companies. Let's see how they uh, how they compare. This one has a little bit. This is a little different. It's got the green pumpkin, that chartreuse in the middle, and then like a, a silver on the bottom there. So it's a little different. It's pretty cool. And um, these are also five and a half inches. These ones for missile baits that I got. So neat. I like that color. It's pretty cool. Green Pumpkin Delight for Missile Baits. Spunk Shed. And I don't know how many. And they have, looks like six in a pack. So the Hog Farmer. Looks like you're going to get one, two, three, four, five. No, I'm sure there's six in this one. One, two, three, four. No, I'm sorry, five. One. Yeah. No, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first one, I thought I only saw five. Maybe I counted wrong. Now there's six. My bad. <laughs> six and six. I counted wrong the first time. On the uh, spunk shed. So both bait, both companies give you six baits, which is nice. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This lava crawl. You can see with that that uh, that orange jackhammer. And that is a trailer. It'd be pretty cool. As I said, the five and a half might be too big for a, a, a jackhammer as a trailer. I didn't buy this for that. I bought it to hover rig it. Um, but I'm not going to say I'm not going to try it. I'm definitely going to try it. But maybe that three and a half or four and a half inch would be better for a chatterbait. But try the bigger one first. Uh, here's Gobi Bite from Missile Baits in their Spunk Shad. Spunk Shad 5.5 from Missile Baits. Gobi bite. There's a lot of different got a lot of different colors in there and flakes. It's pretty neat. See some green pumpkin, a little silver, some black, black and blue flake, maybe silver flake. There's a lot of different flakes in there. So I don't know if you can see that in the light. It's pretty cool. It's a neat color. They're all they're all cool looking fish catch fish 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 catching looking colors. And the last <clears throat> spunk shot I got is good old green pumpkin. There you go. Standard green pumpkin. Could always put a little chartreuse or a little orange on that tail, depending. Maybe along the side. Give it a chartreuse line there. But that's it. So that's my, that's the spunk shad. So... I think I got four of the missile baits. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the hog farmer. So I went from no spunk shads to 11 packs of them. <laughs> so I'm pretty well stocked up. <clears throat> there probably isn't that many colors left. Uh, the last two things I got, you guys have seen me before. You know, as I've said many times, um, now that I live in a no lead state, I've been. Whenever I buy, you know, buy lures, I always grab a couple of tungsten jigs, and I like the Queen Tackle uh, tungsten jig. And I lost <laughs> when Chris and I were fishing the other day. I lost my uh, one of my, I think it was this half ounce in the Blue Craw. I lost it in some rocks. Um, could not get it out. So, so let me grab another half ounce and I'm gonna grab a three eighths. So for you guys who haven't seen uh, any of my other Queen Tackle jig videos, if I can get this open. Before I say it, let me see if I can get it open. Okay. They make a nice tungsten jig. And that's that blue craw. 3 8 ounce. That coffee scent in the in the in the skirt is nice. So that's the I'm gonna rattle the rattle the table here. So that's the 3 8 ounce for that jig. And the one I lost was a half ounce. You can see my pork dangling up there in the water, but it was a little deeper than I wanted to jump in to get it. 
And there's that same skirt, that blue cross skirt. But all their skirts are wire tied. I don't know if I mentioned that before. The only thing I do is I add a rattle. Because it has that, you know, that arky head has that little... Now, that is designed... Let me get this skirt out here. Now, that is designed as your bait keeper. That little, but I use that as for my, my rattle strap. And then I'll just put my, you know, pork on if I'm using plastic. If I'm using one of the crawler d'oeuvres or something else that I might show you. Just put that on through there. So, nice jigs. So, if you haven't ever, if you're looking for a tungsten jig, I recommend you try the Queen Tackle. And that's the blue crawl color. So, I got two of those. <clears throat> and the last thing I got, I just happened to find there, looking at the closeout items, and it went perfect with that last video. I know I mentioned this in the video from the uh, Land Big Fish order I got, um, but in that video I did a few videos ago on on the, 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 the soft plastic jig trailers, I mentioned that, that pig claw from Lake Four Tackle. And apparently they don't make these anymore, so they're having a closeout. And you can get a big, I mean, this is a 25 pack, and I think it was like eight bucks. But if you guys are looking for a plastic, and Lake Fork stuff smells just, it's got that heavy garlic smell. And uh, this is that Christmas tree color, which I did not have. And I don't really have a lot of those left. And I do like them, and I haven't thrown them in years. And now that I know I can stock up on a few cool colors, uh, I might throw it more. But that's that, um, that, pig, that pig claw uh, jig trailer from Lake Fork Tackle. And you can get them on Tackle Warehouse uh, in bulk and a discount, you know, eight or nine bucks for 25 baits. And they do have a smaller size. This, I think, is the three and a half, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I like the three and a half. You know me, I like throwing bigger baits. So they do make, I think, a two and a half, which I might even get a 35 pack. So I may grab this color in the, in the uh, two and a half just to, you know, have a smaller version if I need it. But I like this as a jig trailer. Now, I know I don't have any rattles on here yet. But I don't just take it and put it on. I, I like to, to run it through the bait so it sits on there a little better. I've tried both ways, and this way I like the best. Now this will sit up a little higher because I don't have any rattles on there. But you guys get the idea. I would imagine a bass might like that. That's with no rattles on there, so it might sit a little further back. But that's a nice setup right there great garlic smell combined with the, the coffee smell in the skirt to the garlic smell of the trailer. So if the fish, if the bass like coffee, they got it. If they like garlic, they got it. And the garlic, my, my overall favorite scent to use always has been garlic. It always has been. The first time I ever bought like that bang spray, my buddy of mine, we had it's a day and I was, I was hooked ever since. Whether it mattered, I don't know, but it gives me confidence. So I use it. But garlic to me is my favorite scent on baits. So that's a pretty good, pretty good combo right there. I might just pop that off and add a rattle and throw it that way. Um, but that's it, guys. So if you're interested in trying these trailers, they're on closeout. So when they're gone, I'm assuming they're gone. Now they may have a ton there and they just want to sell them. Um, but it's the uh, three and a half inch pig claw from Lake Fork Tackle, and they only have they only have bulk packs. So it's the, you know. You buy one pack, it probably lasts you a long time. So you can get those on Tackle Warehouse if you're interested. If you're interested. And I got the two Queen Tackle jigs, the Blue Craw tungsten jig, half ounce. Got the 3 8 ounce. And then a whole bunch, 11 different spunk shads of different colors. <laughs> Some from Hog Farmer. Show you these colors quick again. They're all very cool looking, as you've seen. Um, and for you guys who have used these, um, you know, when I did my Chatterbait trailer video, a lot of guys did mention this as one of their favorite trailers, so I'm definitely gonna try it. Um, but let me know what size you prefer. Uh, the five and a half to me is probably a little big. Uh, not that I couldn't cut it down, but as I said, I bought this mostly for throwing a hover rig. <clears throat> and if you guys have used these missile bait ones, let me know how you've made out. As I said, I'm new to the whole um, spunk shad fishing, so it's going to be, be new for me, so it'll be kind of cool going out and fishing a new bait that I haven't, haven't thrown before. Um, so that's the video, guys. Um, 
Uh, any comments on it, please leave any questions on the baits. As I said, I am no expert with throwing these yet. So I guarantee you the next, uh, my, my, in my brain, my next planned trip out is Tuesday. Um, so hopefully that'll work. Nothing will come up that'll prevent me from fishing. So Tuesday I plan to go out and I will definitely be having to throw these in the boat. And I will try them out either on a chatterbait, definitely on a hover rig, um, and see how I make out with them. I'll, I'm sure I'll probably have these out there too and throw those around. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to go, but we'll see. Um, I've got like two and a half weeks until um, I'm leaving for the Candlewood Fishing Camp. I'll be guiding the kids uh, for two weeks at the Candlewood Camp up on Lake Champlain. Can't wait. So that'll be the week of July 23rd through August 5th. Those two weeks I'll be up there. So not only will I be guiding the kids, but two weeks of fishing and multiple sessions. So we'll be on the water a lot, you know, weather permitting. So it'll give me a chance to try a lot of different things and a lot of different techniques that maybe I haven't really thrown a lot. I love to throw that, um, that Nico rig. I haven't done that a lot. I'd like to throw that up there and just, you know, just get some confidence in it and see how I like it. And there's some other things I'd like to try too. I like to throw that scrounger head up there. I want to throw that hover rig up there, <clears throat> throw these around and different things. Now that I'm going to be on the water a lot. So that'll be a good testing ground for a lot of techniques that I've been, you know, kind of messing with, but I really want to, you know, I'll have a lot of hours on the water. So hopefully we'll have good weather and we can get out there a lot. Um, so like I said, any questions on any of these baits, just put it in the comments and, um, you know, I'll put, um, I'll put links to everything for you guys. So if you're interested in getting some, you can, and I'll uh, see you soon on YouTube. Mark out.